What's going on guys? Car Review Guys here. My name is AJ and today we are back with the 2023 Lexus ES 300H F Sport. And uh, I'm here to tell you, this car is actually really, really nice. But you guys know I have to do five things that can improve on every single vehicle I do. So without further ado, this, view, this review is going to be shorter. So if you wanna see the full review video, Link will be below. Without further ado, let's jump into this. Let's roll. Number one on this list has to do with the trunk slash rear seat. So if we come back here, you can see the trunk is nice and spacious, really uh, no issues there. However, the only thing that you can get to is that that little square that's all you get if you want anything bigger or longer so the whole seat does not fold down so you'll see usually there's pull tabs up along there or sometimes they're even right around in here to where this will literally fold down you can put some stuff in there unfortunately for this vehicle and my guess is it's because it's a hybrid i don't know the full reason why but I do know, I'm pretty sure anyway, the battery is actually stored underneath the seat. So, but I don't see why that would stop that from folding down. But long story short, that's number one on the list because, well, yeah, that should be able to fold down in my opinion. That definitely does help. When you have some longer items, it, it helps. So yeah, moving on to number two. Number two on the list is here in the back seat. In the back seat, again, really nice uh, you guys know from my review i really like it however for this vehicle for the price tag um these vents are nice to have but i think two things for this price tag that should be included and or maybe even an option for a small fee you should be able to have a temperature controlled unit so that would be tri zones so you have your own temperature back here that would be nice as an option. The other thing would be to have rear heated seats. As you will see, there are no buttons on the door handles. So just to let you know, there are no rear heated seats and it's not an option. You can't get it. So if that's something you were hoping for in this vehicle, not gonna happen. So just little things. These aren't things that to me would stop you from buying the vehicle just because of how nice it rides and drives. But nonetheless, yeah, moving on to number three. Number three on this list brings us back to the front seat. Above me, if I pull this back, you're gonna notice there's a sunroof. Always nice to have a sunroof, of course. However, there is no option on this vehicle to get a panoramic roof. So you can see it pretty much stops, you know, right behind my head back here. No way to get it panoramic, no way to get it to the back seat. Sometimes it's nice even whenever they put just a bar in the middle and then you get like a second one back there. That's always nice to include the people that are in the rear. Not a big deal, again, but it's something that could definitely improve. I don't see why they couldn't add one back there. Maybe they're concerned about headspace. That's the only thing I can think of because it does get a little bit tight back there, but I'm five foot nine, so I fit absolutely fine. But if you had like two or three, two people like back to back that were like six two each it'd be a little tight headspace wise from your knee perspective and stuff plenty of space but yeah that's the only thing i could think of for number three before we jump into number four let's roll the cinematic
number four on this list is right here. As much as you guys enjoy looking at me, uh, haha, just a joke, this is a rear view mirror, as you can tell, uh, which is obviously fine and it works, but it doesn't have an option for the camera uh, rear view mirror towards digital. So just a little odd, just because I've seen so many vehicles in this segment have it, including other Lexus vehicles. So I'm not sure why that's not an option slash it doesn't come with it. Again, there's no thing down here to toggle it to make it switch to the digital. So yeah, no digital, which is a little odd. Maybe as like an option for like 300 bucks, that'd be pretty nice because it's it actually is really nice. I, I personally like it, you may not. But the great news is even if you have it, you can always flip it down and it'll be normal just like that. So moving on to the last point. Number five, the final point in this video for things to improve has to do with the nice 12.3 inch display in front of me. Super nice. I mean, like, it's really responsive. You touch it, boom, it's there. Touch it. It's very responsive. Nice, clean, clear. Everything you could want in a screen. Where they could improve, and I get this on almost every Lexus slash Toyota vehicle, because many manufacturers allow this, there's no split screen. So you can't have, like, half of the screen be a map and the other half show your music. They don't allow it. It just is what it, the whole screen has to be whatever you click. So whatever, that's it. That's all you get. Full screen. Again, super nice, super ahead of its time. As far as that goes, Toyota slash Lexus really caught up with technology. Like I cannot express how much better this is. This is so nice. All they have to do is push like an over the air update. Boom, you're good to go. So that wraps up the five things I would improve about this 2023 Lexus ES 300H F Sport handling. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. The next video and the final video on this vehicle is going to be the five things that I love about this vehicle. And I'm gonna give you a hint right now. One of the five is how quiet and nice this vehicle drives. Absolutely love it. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna catch you on the next one. Please like, please subscribe. Peace.